Welcome to the Double E Cup Series Season 3. We're here at the Tricky Triangle Pocono Raceway in Long Pond, Pennsylvania for race 6 of the season. And our 27 cars are going to be ready to go for 10 laps around this fast triangular track. So here is your starting lineup. On the pole is 14 Fan Productions, along with Blake Roebuck. Then we have Evan DePaula and Maxwell Vady, along with Gaming Ninja 07 and Brock Johnson. Then we have Dylan Lander in the 48 and Tony Flickerman in the 31, along with Trey Normile and Austin McLean. Then we have Stormtrooper 2178 and a big boy, along with Conan the Beast 567 and Trent Hennings. Then we have Ryan Potter and Eddie Jones, along with Dirk Dig One and Jake Baskinger. Then we have Stephen Kimball in the 33 and Tyler NASCAR 17 in the 16. And then we have Jacob Grant and Dylan Riera. And on towards the back we got Nat Wagner and Ty Starks, along with Tommy K and Kart Racer 56. And rounding it out is the 29 of Float on a Boat. At your starting lap, cars roll off. It's a 10 lap race as I mentioned before. 27 cars is, and the key thing about this track is that it's only three turns. Three straightaways and Mark Martin is going to lead us to the green flag in race six. Dale Jr. gets a little bit of a run. He gets loose coming off turn one. He's going to fall back three wide right there for fourth. Kyle Busch going to try and take that position. As up front it's Mark Martin with Tony Stewart all over his bumper. Coming around turn three. Across the start finish line to lap two now. Stewart looks to the inside on Mark Martin for the race lead. Matt Kenseth just behind them. Stewart's going to clear Mark Martin down that back stretch through the tunnel turn now. Kenseth closing the gap on Mark Martin for second. While Kyle Busch is going to look under him for third. So head through turn three. And now there's a spin. It's Denny Hamlin. And now Eric Almarola is involved. And it looked like Marco Zambros might have been involved a little bit as well as the caution is out here on lap three. Let's see what happened. Looked like, ooh, Hamlin got tapped from Almarola and then when. Our roller probably checked up, looked like Ambrose got into the back of him and spun him around. A little bit of damage on the front of Ambrose's car, but a lot on the 43 and the 11. They'll be out of the race here. As everyone else will restart on lap 5. Stewart leading, but here comes Mark Martin with a good run. Oh, Stewart gets loose, and now Matt Kenseth gets forced up into the wall. And the caution's going to come out here as there's damage and debris on the racetrack. High in the first turn. Looks at what, look at what happened here. Stewart drives it in hard, gets loose, moves up into Kenseth, knocks him out of the groove, and Kenseth got into the wall he gets a little bit of damage but he looks like he'll be able to continue so we'll restart quickly here as here's where everyone will line up Mark Martin took the lead from Stewart there and he'll lead us back to the green on lap 7 who turns one now Kyle Busch trying to take the third spot from Casey Kane he does as Mark Martin's trying to hold off Stewart but Stewart's gonna power around him on the outside as head into turn three Stewart then Mark Martin then Kyle Busch as they approach lap 8 here. Kyle Busch really knocking on the door for second. He's going to look to the inside down the back stretch through the tunnel turn. He's going to make that pass for second. As now Kyle Busch will try to kiss the 14 as there's a spin in the back stretch. It's Greg Biffle around on the apron. And he comes to a stop almost into turn 3 as the third caution of the day is out here. Let's see what happened. Oh, look like Montoya got into Austin Dillon and he came down across Biffle. A little bit of damage on Austin Dillon's car, but he'll be able to continue with very minimal damage. Greg Biffle has a little bit more damage on his car, and he's probably going to be out of the race. But it'll set up a green-white checker here for everyone else who's left. As here we go. Tony Stewart with now Kyle Busch on his outside. Leads us to the green. They made it three wide. Mark Martin there on the inside. But Mark Martin's going to take third as Kyle Busch is coming up on the outside on Tony Stewart. Through turn two now and down the back. Mark Martin still waiting for one of them to make a mistake. Kyle Busch still there on the outside. Ground turn three. Busch gets loose. Martin gets knocked down to the inside a little bit. But Kyle Busch is going to try and hold on to the second spot on the final lap. He gets a great run down the back stretch through turn two now. Kyle Busch to the lead. He gets a nudge from Stewart. Stewart's going to try one more time, but he gets knocked up. And now it looks like Kyle Busch is going to hold on and take the victory here at Pocono Raceway. Wow. That was pretty intense there at the end. Looked like Stewart got knocked out of the groove and finished, I think, second. But Kyle Busch will celebrate his victory here. Congratulations to Gaming Ninja 07 with his win. And here are your final results. 
Steve Blake Roback finished second, 55 third. The five was fourth, and Dale Earnhardt Jr., Evan DePaul in the 88, finishes fifth. A good finish for him. See everyone else. All these people finished on the lead lab. None of them were involved in any wrecks. Whereas most all of these guys, everyone here except the 29 was involved in a crash as well. But only three cars landed in the garage this afternoon. That's actually less than I would have expected. Here's your point standings. Trey Normal is still your points leader. Brock Johnson, you look at this. The top six are only separated by 10 points. The standings tightened up, at least up front here they did. They tightened up a crazy amount. It looks like we're starting to get an idea for who our top contenders will be. But all these guys still have a chance, a late rally. Could be just what they need to get back up to the front. Thanks for watching Race 6 from Pocono. Hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations again to Gaming Ninja and Kyle Bush for the victory. Please subscribe for more NASCAR videos coming out soon. And Race 7 will be from Dover International Speedway. Hope you enjoy it. I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.